What's up, Soul Squad? It is what? Hot day! Means you're halfway through the week. Guys, that upside down pineapple cake with this Hennessy was amazing. Everybody here ate it. They love it. I had two. I didn't have to give one away because they ate it away, okay? Um, <laughs> I'm at it again. This time, I am doing Coke and Hennessy wings, guys. Coke and Hennessy wings. I am doing it with some party wings that I have cleaned, pat dried, and all that good stuff. I'm going to dip it in some egg and flour. Who flour? My flour. Now, if you don't have my seasoned flour that you don't have to season your meat with, guys, just go ahead with the best seasons that you got. Season your chicken the way you do it in your home. You want to season your chicken, then you want to take some flour, and you want to season that flour with the same season that you season your chicken with. Because remember, before you had my flour, we was all seasoning our chicken good, right? So you can do it that way, or you can purchase... My salted tea flour. Look, I don't even have no label on it. <laughs> this is my at home flour. I got my grease on getting hot, but go to www.sofatllc.com. I got your spicy. Oh, it's up there on the wall. I got your spicy and I got your regular ready for you to order. So, the only thing you need for this video, my flour. So, I'm going to put it out there. Some Coke, some Hennessy, some chicken, and eggs. And that's just to get started. I'm going to put this to the side because I'm going to show you guys how I make the sauce. Now, if you saw my video yesterday, the butter sauce, because it still is a butter sauce, is similar. Except I'm adding a couple of more ingredients to that sauce. Um, Yeah. So, let's get started. I'm going to pour some flour. Again, I'm going to use my flour. Look at that flour. Um. And this is a crazy thing, right? You would think since I make the flour, I would have flour. I only had no flour for myself. That's how much I'm sold out. This is the last. I got to get me some of my own flour. Oh, yeah. Sit down right there. Look how seasoned it is. You can see all the, um, the ingredients in there and everything, guys. Yes. So, I'm using three eggs. I'm going to crack. Put to the side. I might only need two, but I'm doing three just in case because I don't need to add another one. Take my fork and whisk this. How you guys surviving this quarantine? And this could be a dinner or this could be a quick sit down meal. Um, you know, a snack. The kids like anybody got one set of ordering wings from Domino's or Pizza Hut or whoever your local carry out, you get your little wings from. Hey, this is a twist on this, something different, something good. And so, I got my party wings here. So the first thing I'm going to do, guys, this is going to be my plate. I'm going to rest my wings on. Look, I am not good with the wet hat hand solution thing. So, I'm going to do it my way. Flour. First thing, flour. I think three is enough to get started. And then I'm about to do the flour. And guys, a quick FYI. To get your chicken nice and crunchy, make sure you add some cornstarch to it. Um, my um, flour has cornstarch, so I particularly don't have to add any cornstarch. But it helps with that crunchiness, you know what I'm saying? Look at that. That's how you do it. We're gonna shake it off. Again, I'll just have to wash my hands because that wet method and message is not for me. Sit to the side. Basic flour. Do three at a time. I love it. I love it. You guys are gonna love these wings. Once you learn how to make these and you get to taste these wings, these are gonna be your go-to wings for what you got, our Super Bowls, um, Father Day, for your dads. 
Just a quick, nice, well, I don't know. Because I'm telling you, Hennessy ain't cheap. <laughs> but they got smaller bottles than this. But yeah. Oh, this flower smells good. It smells like the chicken is already cooking because of the flower. So guys, we're going to finish doing all these wings. My hands going to be washed. When we come back, we're going to be ready for the grease. The grease is getting hot. So I'm going to finish these wings up, wash my hands. When we come back, they're going in the fryer. Okay, guys, we're back. Look at my wings. They're ready for this grease. Already tested it. This grease is hot. It's ready to go. Look at that. Mmm. Party wing. I got room for one more. So, of course, I'm going to end up doing two rounds. What's your favorite part? Man, I love the flat. I love it. You can't go wrong. Why they don't make a whole bag of flax? Oh my God. I'll be the first person in line for that one. A whole bag of flax. Anybody know where I get a whole bag of flax at? Please let me know. Because we, I think everybody in my house likes flax. No, you don't? Oh, okay. Cameraman said he don't. But my mom love them. My sister love them. And when I'm cooking for everybody, it's like, oh, where all the flax at? You can be trying to get the big flax too. That's the best part of the wing for me. We're going to let this cook. Yeah. And let the wings cook. Let them do our thing. Do their thing. The grease is nice and hot, so it's cooking at a good temperature. I have about six more to go. <clears throat> and we're going to be back when all these wings are done. When they are done, we're going to be back. You got to actually tell me. You actually, see, you actually need to see me flip them over. Do you think? Things we're going. Mm -mm. So guess what? You saw the beginning process. You see what this chicken is doing. It's cooking. And when we come back, all the chickens are going to be done, and we're going to concentrate on that sauce. Yeah, Hennessy and Coke wings, guys. So it's called we back. Look at those party ring rings. <laughs> Look at the party rings. Look at these party wings. So pretty, golden, and brown. They're all crispy. You can see the seasoning off of my flower. So let's get started on our Coke and Hennessy. What's it? Glaze, I want to call it. So I got uh, one stick. What is like a half a cup of butter? One stick of unsalted butter. Melting. I don't know why I just can't get words right. Melting on low. I'm going in. But remember, I told you it's almost this glaze is almost similar to the um pineapple Hennessy cake, but I'm adding a little bit. It's more savory, 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 savory. Okay, one tablespoon of brown sugar, one tablespoon of garlic. You see what I'm saying? Brown sugar and garlic, butter. This is the sauce. Look at that. I gotta get that brown sugar up in there, right? I'm going in. What a half a cup of my Hennessy. No, she said a half a cup of Hennessy, y'all. A half a cup of Hennessy. Oh, I know what I forgot. Joshua, give me that cornstarch. Because we got to have a thickness, y'all. It got to get thick. And we're going over one fourth cup of good old Coca Cola. I'm doing half a cup of Coca Cola, too. A half a cup of Coca-Cola, because they are Coke and Hennessy wings, guys. And the cornstarch, one tablespoon of cornstarch, that's going to actually give it the thickness that we need. So... One tablespoon of cornstarch. And basically, you're going to stir and let this come to a simmer and let it glaze down. It's going to take a couple of minutes. I got my stove on a medium low. The cornstarch will give it thickness. And when we come back, guys, watch that for a few seconds. I'm going to put my chicken in the glass bowl. It don't have to be a glass bowl. Hey, I'm going to get all my garlic. 
Get all my one tablespoon of garlic. And I'm going to let this cook till it go down, till it simmer down, to a nice little thickness like a glaze. That's what that cornstarch is going to do. And we're going to coat these wings. I can't wait. I can't wait. We got to get somebody to taste something y'all on camera. Somebody. Hennessy and cook wings. Oh my God. Yes. Be back. Okay, guys, look at my sauce. And it got thick, but guess what? I got some of the, the cornstarch to thicken it. So, it didn't melt the way I wanted it to. So, what we're going to do, you ready? Cut the stove off. And I'm going to drain it through the strainer to get all that cornstarch out. That cornstarch didn't do what I want. It did what I wanted to do. But see how I left all the cornstarch behind? Mm-mm, you do not want that on your chicken, right? No. So, now I'm tell you what a lot of people don't do. Because I tweaked the recipe. Ooh-wee. Look at that, guys. Oh, no, with the wings like a glaze. Oh, my goodness. It's sticky. Mm. Ooh. That look good. Yes. You can smell the um. Mm. Hey, my plate. Oh, you can smell the Hennessy and everything. Three pieces I missed. Mm. So what I'm going to do. Hmm. Yeah, so that's left the cornstarch. What I should have done is that I should have took my cornstarch, but I normally do made a slurry. So you guys could do that. You know. But since I didn't do that. Ooh, this smells amazing. Oh my goodness. Look at that, like that piece don't have one on there. Mmm. Let me just taste this glaze. Mmm. Tell me, you can't taste the Hennessy in there. Look at that. My granddaughter crying. And the, oh, look at me. I can't even get it up. It's slippery. <laughs> but that look amazing. It's shiny. I think that's all I'm going to put on there. My son's like, yeah, that's all you need on there. Oh! And this is my kitchen, guys. My way. Again, the internet is filled with all types of recipes. And if you don't want to do it my way, hey, there's plenty of channels out there that's showing you guys how to do Hennessy and Coke. Guys, look at that. Like, share, and subscribe. And remember, when you do your cornstarch, make a slurry. And that is just one tablespoon of cornstarch to about one tablespoon of water. Stir it up. Then pour it into your sauce for you get that thickness. In case you don't have a strainer to do what I did. Until the next video, guys, remember to hit that bell. That looks so good to me. Oh, I said somebody was going to taste it, didn't I? I guess that's going to be on me. You want to take your thumbnail first? Let him take his thumbnail. We'll be back for taste. Okay, guys. So, before I taste this, my son has kindly reminded me that was a cornstarch. That was my garlic. The cornstarch didn't melt. What was I thinking? So, don't drain off your garlic. You want your garlic part of this recipe. My mind be all over the place. But, with that, with that being said, I told y'all, the flats are my favorite part. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, yeah. Using my flour. This is good. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Like. Mmm. Share. Subscribe. Hit that big one. To be notified. Bye. Mmm.